What's up, YouTube? This is the two big bros that you're hanging out with. I think about it. And the two. Uh, today, this is goes out to all the 1980, 1990 people. I don't know, was it before? Probably was before. No, they? around there too. It's a long time that, that it was really big. Okay, well, we're, we're going to touch on... Um, Publisher's Clearing House and uh, Ed McMahon. Or Ed, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but here's the clip. All right, first you need to know that I am willing to die on this hill. So if you're going to come in the comments and disagree with me, you better fucking bring it. If you were a kid in the 80s and 90s, your parents got these envelopes in the mail from the Publisher's Clearinghouse Sweepstakes. And you could fill it out and send it in for a chance to win like a million dollars. And if you won that million dollars, a guy named Ed McMahon would show up on your porch with a big ass check, some balloons, and a camera crew and knock on your door and film your reaction. We all remember this, right? Wrong. It never happened. Ed McMahon never worked for, made commercials for, or was affiliated with the PCH in any way possible. And the internet is backing this up. You can't find footage of Ed McMahon delivering checks on the internet. It's been wiped from existence. They're saying that we're all wrong. It's something called the Mandela effect, where this large group of people remember something incorrectly and nobody can explain why. His face was on the envelopes. There's even TV shows that referenced this happening. What? That was I'm one of the winners of the publisher's So what, is the entire internet like lying to us? Did they get together with PCH and be like, hey, let's fuck with the whole world and tell them that Ed McMahon never did this? Or did he really never do it? And there was a glitch in the matrix and we were living in a parallel universe. Like I could not sleep last night. My brain hurts. And I need somebody smarter than me to figure this out. Okay, so the guy Ed McMahon, he was on the envelope. I remember because my mom used to get it and she used to give it to me, the publisher's clearing house. She used to give it to me because I used to like the stamps. And he just educated me that that's why they were called publisher's clearing house because you, uh, you could order. Uh, you used the stamps to put on the, the card you sent back to them to enter the sweepstakes. But if you put the stamp, certain stamps on it, it would give you a subscription, um, you know, for one year or whatever it is, to the different magazines that they had. Okay, so anyways, this was big. Big time. Like, anybody born in the 80s and 90s um, know what we're talking about. Anyways, I researched it after I saw that clip. And... Yeah, Publishers Clearing House is denying any relations with uh, Ed McMahon. And I remember his face and even the commercials. Um, they're saying that the commercials um, it was for another company and it was blurred out on the bottom. Uh, the company's name, the rival company's family, something sweepstakes. But he was the face of Publishers Clearing House. I, I do remember, and I wish my mom uh, had kept those envelopes because you could just say his name and and you think Publishers Clearing House, or you think Publishers Clearing House, you think his name because he's the one that would give the, um, the checks. Now, now, what is the interesting thing, what she said, was they're trying to um, do the thing. Yeah, he's claiming that they're saying that it was the Mandela effect. But I'm thinking... Okay, it, describe it a little, because I didn't know what that was. Okay, well, the Mandela effect is, okay, remember back, I don't know if you remember back in the in the, I think it was the mid 90s, 80s, or late 80s, I can't remember now, it's been a while, but Nelson Mandela, 
um, died in pri- died when he was in prison. Um, well, then back in the nineties, right? All of a sudden, Nelson Mandela's alive, and he was let out of prison, and then he died later. And everybody seems to remember that Nelson Mandela died earlier in the eighties, but then in actuality, he died later and was released from prison in the 90s that's the mandela effect so it's something that we remember that happened in the past but then as you get into the present it's not what happened it's something else happened yeah, but I don't get it. Publishers cleaning house, you saying the whole generation I was believe hypnotized? That it's not not that. I don't know if you remember, but toward the end of when Ed McMahon was supposedly involved with Publishers Clearing House, right? There was that big lawsuit because um they were saying that when you enter the sweepstakes, right, all you had to do is send the paper back to enter the sweepstakes, you didn't have to purchase any of the material, right? But what was going on was, uh, if you sent back in just a a sweepstakes entry without ordering any of the material, and they kind of sort of, in a roundabout way, without, you know, uh, saying that they did, forced you to order at least three different materials from them in order to be entered into the sweepstakes. Well, that's the catch. That's how they're getting the money to... Yes, I know that's how they're getting the money to do the sweepstakes. But there was a lawsuit about that. And the federal government said, in the end, that they couldn't do that. They had to just let people enter without, you know, using that as a criteria to put them in. Well, that's that's a ridiculous. They would lose money. Yeah, well, they're still in business, and that's what they're doing. They have to do it. It's a federal law now. So yeah, when Ed McMahon died, that's how what uh, prompted the question: How is people going to be notified now since Ed McMahon is dead? Yeah, and well, they, they got new spokespersons <coughs> and stuff because Ed no. McMahon at the time. Listen to what I'm saying. Ed McMahon at the time that this lawsuit happened started to distance himself from Publishers Clearinghouse and he left as their spokesperson. That's when they started using different people. Okay, but what what I'm saying is if you Google it, Publishers Clearinghouse has denied any any and all knowledge. Of- yes, because he distanced himself. They don't want people to remember the lawsuit. And I'm pretty sure after the lawsuit, they um, redid themselves as a corporation and took off part of their name to become a new company, but but still mainly Publishers Clearinghouse. And they circulate different spokespeople now at certain times. Like for a while, you know that guy that does Let's Make a Deal... Yeah, yeah, the black he, guy. Yeah, he was um, the spokesperson. Oh, no, and, not, not Let's Make a Deal. Um, yeah, he does Let's Make a Deal. Um, no, um, is that the bullethead guy? Yes. The comedian? Yes, he does Let's Make a Deal. Anyway. Um, yeah, well, fucking tell them because they don't know. Howie I, Mandel. No, he's not Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel I, is not black. I just... Oh. Howie Mandel is a white guy. Oh. He's a Canadian. No. Let's make a deal. Is the guy who was on whose line it? Whose line is it anyway? Yes, that's the black guy. That's not how I meant. Yeah, that. stop calling him black. You just said black guy before that. He's um. What are they African Americans now? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, the point being is, you gotta was, be sensitive he was to the these people. You know? I'm not woke, okay? Um, and I'm not gonna get woke anytime soon. So Merry Christmas. Um, what you call it, uh, he was a spokesperson, and then now, the old football player guy, what the hell's his name? Um, Bo Jackson. No. He's, um, he just had his own reality show, too. Does anybody remember Bo Jackson? 
Yeah, Bo, Bo Jackson was um, just he was a spokesperson for something not too long ago. No, I do you remember. know that he was a baseball player and football player? Yes, I know he was a baseball player and a football player. And I think he tried to play golf or something too. <clears throat> Who cares about golf? But anyway, because um, Bo knows, you know. I am. I, you don't remember? That was his catchphrase, Bo knows. Anyway, aside from the Bo point. Bo toes. Anyway, aside from the point, is they have a new spokesperson. He's an ex football player. I can't remember his name now. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Publishers Clearinghouse. Say, who cares? The, the we were point, all talking about the Publishers point Clearinghouse. Is, and I'm telling you the fucking Publishers Clearinghouse is denying. Because they're gonna deny. They're gonna a try. Company that's not theirs. They're gonna try to uh, uh, make like the whole generation was wrong. Because technically they are if they created a corporation. Sorry, that's how business works. It's like if I have, if I build a business, say that's called. Um, Assos Anonymous. Uh, I'll think about it's assholes anonymous, right? And then you get sued for something, right? And you have to. Or dildos are us. You, okay, whatever the fucking business name is, just let me finish, okay? So I'll think about it's assholes anonymous, okay? Get out of my area. Remember, stay that side. Jesus Christ! Can I finish my thought? Or are you gonna just keep deflecting? Deflector. I'm deflecting your face because you're. Your glasses is... I'm going to turn this video off pretty soon. You ain't touching shit. You're acting like a jaboni. Well, anyway. at least I'm acting. You're an asshole in real life. Anywho. As I lost my train of thought now. Thank you very much. Brain fart. No, it's because you and you're deflecting. <laughs> this is going viral, man. Oh yeah, just because you said that it's not. Because you said it on camera. You're such an asshole negative. You're a negative Nancy. Calm down, breathe. You have to check your blood pressure. <laughs> no, I have to shoot myself in the face. <laughs> right after I shoot you in the face. Yeah, with your jizz. Anyway, okay, that, that was kind of... That's too much. Anyway, hey, <laughs> comment down below. Let us know if you remember who Ed McMahon was. Am I saying his name correct? Yeah, it's Ed McMahon. He was the second banana to Johnny Carson. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. We don't care. Yeah, comment on how his deflecting screwed up the whole thing. <laughs> Until next time. Bye.